think that's out of order, ma'am. Uh, you see, that's the trouble with these buildings. The fountains never work. Then you have to use the coffee machine, and then you lose your dime and the coffee's lousy. Who are you? Uh, I'm just another cop. My name is Columbo. I'm a lieutenant. Were you, Got were the you proof in there right with... here. You didn't see me in there because I left before you got in there. And you know why? Because it's so smoky in there and so noisy in there that, that I just had to come outside and get a breath. Oh, I think I'd better get back. Now, look, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. You look very tired to me, and I think you had a terrible experience in there. And I think I ought to drive you home. Let's call it a night. Well, don't you think they want to ask me questions? Oh, I don't think they'll mind. I think you've answered enough questions, and I'll call them and I'll tell them you're with me. Okay? Well, what about Ken? Why isn't Ken here? I don't know why he isn't here. Is that Mr. Franklin, the other half of the writing team? <sighs> yeah, the other half of the team. You know, that's what I like about these buttons. You don't have to push them. They go off with the heat of your hand. But you haven't had anything to eat. You're a very nice man, Lieutenant, but I'm not really hungry. I'll tell you, Mrs. Ferris, I'm the worst cook in the world. But there's one thing I do terrific, and that's an omelet. Even my wife admits it. Uh, I need something for the eggshells. Over there in that cabinet. I'm really not hungry. Listen, you'll take a taste. If you don't like it, you throw it away. I'll tell you what the secret is to a good omelet. No eggs, just milk. <laughs> uh, skillet. Over there. You're a very persuasive man, Lieutenant. Maybe I should hold up my end and make the coffee. Just one more thing. <laughs> 